Hey guys, Ernie here and welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. If you've been around the channel for any time at all, you know that we love coffee. We've taken a look at all kinds of coffee related products, coffee presses, coffee drips, even instant coffee. So as of today, what is my go-to kit for going out and making coffee in the woods? Well stay tuned and I'll show you guys. Thanks for watching. Now the first thing you need to do, of course, is get water to a boil. You could do that with all kinds of different products. You could use a propane stove, you could use a solid fuel stove, you could use an open fire. We are gonna to choose to use a wood stove. Now really my choice is kind of twofold. My main way of heating water in the woods these days is my Firebox Titanium Nano. I love this particular stove because it gives me lots of options and it's really lightweight. I tend to carry it in the X case along with the other accessories. Now, if I'm in a hurry or I don't feel real comfortable lighting an open fire or a fire in my environment, I'll use something different. In addition to the stove, I also always carry my Trangia Spirit Burner. That way, if I'm not real comfortable with where I am as far as starting a fire, I could just use my alcohol stove very simply along with my Nano and boil myself a cup of water. But if I have the time to relax, have a little fun and smell the open flame, I use my Nano. Now, depending on your preference, you can boil water and drink water out of the same container if you want. I like to carry two separate containers. I like to use the Infinity Cup from GSI to drink out of, and I always have my Titanium Canteen Cook Kit with me. I use the canteen to carry water for boiling, and I use, of course, the canteen cup to boil the water in. It's got a top along with it. I left it in the bag. This works really, really well for me. You can boil water straight in your canteen cup or any other metal container and make your coffee right in there. Since I use a drip coffee system, which you'll see in a little bit, it's hard for me to drip into my own cup. So I need to carry a different cup, boil the water in here, brew it into here. That's how I do it. I also like doing this because if I want more coffee, I can go ahead and put more water to boil in the canteen cup while I drink. That way I have more water ready to make more as soon as I'm finished with my first cup. Next, you have to pick your coffee. Now, the type of coffee is completely up to you. You do want to decide whether you use pre-ground or whole beans. I like to use whole beans whenever I want the best flavored coffee. I've got this pretty inexpensive coffee mill. It's very simple to use. You just put the coffee right in there. There's a little bit in there already from earlier. You just put this on and you just crank it. It takes a little while, but it creates a very nice grind. Be just a little bit in my hand here you can see very nice coarse grind for coffee and it's hard to beat freshly ground beans whenever you want the best tasting coffee i carry a little bit in a plastic container or in a bag like this that allows me to grind my coffee fresh whenever i want my brew out in the woods next you need to decide on your brew system I have a lot of videos on different brew systems here on the channel what i've come to like the most is the coffee rocket from gsi it fits very nicely, as you can see, inside of the Infinity Mug. It's a drip system. It's a drip system that you don't have to babysit. You don't need to carry a separate filter. The coffee goes right in this stainless steel filter. You pop this cone on, you pull out these little legs, put it on top of your Infinity Mug, and you pour your water straight in. The beauty of this is you can pour the water all the way up. This is eight ounces. Just pour it all the way in and just take your time. Let it drip. You can go around camp, do other things. In one or two minutes, you've got a fresh cup of coffee. Super simple. I also, of course, carry a fire kit. This is my Hidden Woodsman Possible's pouch in orange. It's my favorite fire kit container. It holds tons of stuff. When I'm going out for coffee and I'm using a wood stove like I am in this case, I like to carry two things. First is these fire plugs. I'm going to be doing a video on these soon. This is a new product from what used to be uh, Hangar 55. It's a different company now. I'll put the name down at the bottom. I can't remember off the top of my head, but I carry these. These are great to start wood stoves. And then of course in my fire kit, I'm going to have and usually use just a lighter, but I've got my open L, which is a nice carving knife along with a ferro rod. This open L has a wonderful uh, 90 degree spine that I can use. In here, I usually also carry a little bit of alcohol. You can see some alcohol for the trangia just in case I need it. I also carry my creamer. I usually carry it inside of this a little container. This is just a small two ounce Nalgene, perfect amount of cream for my coffee. This is just an extra that I carry. You don't have to. You can carry creamer. You can drink it black, whatever it might be. I use no sweetener, just creamer. Now let's make a brew.
a good cup of coffee. It's a beautiful morning here in Louisiana. It's still hot, but it's cooling off. I have to get out really early to not get too hot, but that's what I did this morning to make this quick video for you guys. If there's one thing this channel has done, it is uh, documented clearly that there are many, many ways to make a cup of coffee, especially out in the woods. I like products that allow you to use them both hiking, backpacking, but traveling, even at home, all these products work anywhere you want them to work. I'm constantly changing how I make my coffee, but steadily when I go out on day hikes, a lot of times guys, I go out on hikes and I don't do any filming. I try to go out at least once a week if I can and not do any filming because it's just funner that way and I really continue to enjoy the outdoors and not have to worry about the camera and all that stuff. But almost always in the last couple months when I've done that, if I wanted to brew a cup of coffee, I've used this particular system almost completely right down the line. That said, as all things, it's likely to change very quickly. Next month, I may be taking something completely different, but this is what I'm using right now. I wanted to share it with you guys. Coffee tends to be a topic that a lot of us can relate to, and I just wanted to share what I've been using recently, and I really enjoy this kit. It's pretty lightweight, it's fairly inexpensive, but it's high quality, and it will last you quite a long time. Now, I tend to be a little bit of a gear hoard, and I like to collect all kinds of different things. But if you're looking for one foolproof way to make a cup of coffee out in the woods, something similar to this, based around that coffee rocket, can't go wrong. But don't worry, I'm always looking for new ways to make coffee in the woods. New videos on new products will keep on coming. If you guys are not aware, I have an entire playlist on making coffee in the woods. I'll leave a link down below. Make sure you check that out. I've got about 15 coffee videos or so for you to check out, so make sure you do that if you like making coffee in the woods the way that I do. Detail lots of different products, so check it out. Do me a favor, guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up down below. It helps spread things across YouTube. If you want to make sure you don't miss any videos, hit the subscription button. And if you want to be absolutely sure you don't miss any videos, hit that ding dong bell and you will be the first to know. I think I'm going to shoot one more video while I'm out this morning, do something a little bit different, and then I'm going to enjoy the day off with my family. It's Saturday. It's still a little bit warm, but I'm going to enjoy it as much as I can outside before it turns 100 degrees. As always, guys, I appreciate you checking out the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Stay tuned for more videos soon. <laughs>